Hi guys, how's it going and welcome back to another Albion Online video. In today's video, we are going to be clearing 10 T7.1 solo dungeons in the Avalonian Roads so you can see if it's worth your time to be clearing them in terms of the silver earned from all 10. You can also do these maps in the black zone so it doesn't matter if you want to do them in the black zone or the Avalonian Roads because you're going to get the same bonus chance for the loot whether you're doing it in the roads or the black zone. So as you can see here, I am in a T8.3 set just to speed things up when it comes to clearing the dungeons, but you can do this in a T7 equivalent set pretty nicely and pretty fast. But if you are looking for a good dungeon speed clearing build, I would recommend the one I'm using here, the bolt casters set I've got on. But uh, you can also use the famous Great Axe speed clear build as well. I do know that we would have to clear thousands of dungeons at this level to really get a true sense of what the loot we're going to be getting would be, but unfortunately I don't have the time to sit through a thousand of each of these dungeons at the minute. So this is part of a series where we're doing 10 of each T7 style map. So we already did the T7 flats and that went really good. This is the T7.1s and then in the future we're going to be doing 7.2, 7.3 as well. All in the solo dungeons just to see how it goes for solos out in the roads or the black zone. So far the T7 flat maps have been 100% worth the time and hopefully by the looks of things so far the T7.1s are looking even better than the 7 flats. Uh, but yeah, the T7s, that made us around 200k-ish per dungeon, so that's a really nice profit, and hopefully this will be more. I was lucky enough to go up against the Morgana Raven boss, as you can see here. Uh, this is in the Morgana solo dungeon, as you could tell. It is a gold chest, so super happy about that, and this is the loot we got from it. It could have been better, but, um, you know, I can't complain. 600k, or what is it, 700k? It's better than nothing. Okay, so I wanted to put this boss fight in. So this is the undead necromancer, but there's a little trick at the beginning of the fight to, to speed things up a lot. So if you stand near him, like this, when he does his first ability, see that takes a huge chunk of his health away. He actually damages himself. So that's a good tip to know. I remember the first time I heard about that, I I just couldn't believe it. It seemed like a bug, to be honest with you, but you may as well take advantage of it. It's going to speed things up for this boss fight, and, you know, it's, it's in the game, and it has been in the game for a long time, so I don't think they plan on taking it out. Let's quickly check the loot we got in this one. How much did we get? Uh, not too much. Not too bad, though. 100k. On to the next one. So overall we made a total of 3.29 million from the chests and 770k from silver bags. So if we take away the cost of the maps, that leaves us with a total profit of 2.95 million silver profit. So that works out at 295,000 silver per map pure profit. With a fast build like this, you can easily clear 5 maps an hour, meaning you'll be making around 1.5 million per hour if you have the same luck I did here today. Overall, I'd say 7.1 solo maps in the roads or the black zone is 100% worth your time for the silver and fame. Just maybe don't risk a T8.3 set unless you have hideouts all around you just like I did here. If you did sit and do this for 6 hours straight in a day, you'd make around 9 million silver with the same luck I had, which is enough money to buy premium for the month. Thank you for watching guys, if you did like the video, please do consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thanks again and have a great night.